Okay, now it's time to make some beer. The first thing you need to do is decide where you're going to make your beer. You want a nice clean open area. I'm brewing in the kitchen today. You can also brew outside on a barbecue with a side burner. Clean down your brewing area, give it a wipe down with PPW and a spray of sanitizer. Fill your brewing kettle up with 4.2 gallons or 16 litres of water and bring this to the boil. When you're choosing your brewing area, it's really good to have a beam or a hook or something like that above your brew pot and you can use this to hang your grain bag off. Cover your pot with a lid and put it on the boil. Also heat up your oven, so put it on low heating. You want your oven to be at 167 degrees Fahrenheit or 67 degrees Celsius. This is going to maintain our mass temperature. Give your pillowcase a wash out and make sure it's got no detergents in there. Once your brewing water reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius, put your pillowcase in there. Fold the top around the, the top of your brew pot so it's secure in place. Take another temperature reading to make sure it's all okay. And now it's time to add in the grain. You need to pour your grain in slowly while stirring it with your spoon. It's really important that all the grain gets wet. If there's any dry clumps in there, this starch is not going to be converted and it's going to go through to your fermenter. This will lead to problems with the beer later down the track. So mix it in thoroughly, add in the gypsum if you're using it, and take a temperature reading. It should now be sitting at 167 degrees Fahrenheit or 67 degrees Celsius. If it's too hot, take it off the heat source and give it a stir for a couple of minutes. This should drop the temperature down. If it's too cold, just turn the heat back on and give it a good stir while it's heating up and turn it off when it hits the right temperature. Put the lid on and fold the top of the pillowcase over the top so it won't drip out. If you haven't done so already, take the racks out of your oven and move your brew pot in there. If you're brewing outside or you don't have an oven, you might need to insulate your brew pot with an old sleeping bag or some towels and blankets or something like that. Just check the temperature halfway and uh, if it's dropped down considerably, put it back on the heat. Give it a stir while it's heating up. So after an hour, take it out of the oven, sit it on the hot plate and turn the heat back on. Stir it constantly and bring the temperature back up. When it gets to 171 degrees Fahrenheit or 77 degrees Celsius, turn it off. This step's going to heat up the sugars in the grain and make it easier for it to drain out. 